All right, I've got a uh, a panel set up that I've been testing for uh, Mech Warfare. It's uh, it's a hit panel um, that should detect uh, an airsoft BB. And I've got a, uh, a spring-loaded handgun here. I'm going to shoot it with, and it should trigger an LED as long as I don't miss. Uh, there, I'm at about six feet or so. I've hit it out to about 14 or a little bit more. It's about the extent of my range. I'll shoot it one more time. So hopefully you caught that LED blink in there, but I wanted to show you that before I actually took this thing apart, um, the panel here, and showed you what it is. Uh, it uses a uh, um, pressure-sensitive uh, conductive rubber that I've got. I'm going to turn off the supply. So I've just got it tied to a microcontroller that is just looking for um, a low on a specific pin there and it'll trigger the LED for one second and then run right back through the same loop. Um, but the uh, conductive rubber is uh, is called Zoflex and it was actually developed here in Knoxville by a chemical engineer and uh, her husband at the time, uh, an electrical engineer. And I believe they've got the patent on it. And this right here is, uh, I bought a 6x6 six six piece of this um, and this is the the harder of the two that are available on their website, zoflex.com, zoflex.com. Um, this is a uh, half a millimeter thick, um, so uh, really easy to cut, easy to work with, some really neat stuff. Um, so right now, what I've got is a circuit board, uh, and I'll take this apart here and show you a uh, circuit board on the backer, and. Um, the Zoflex sandwiched in between the board and a piece of uh, 030 Lexan. Um, give me one sec here. But uh, I'm able to, if I put a uh, another circuit board on the front instead of the Lexan, of course it becomes a lot more sensitive. Um, as long as it's got copper on the one side of the board. And then I, I'm sure if I change the spacing here um, on this board, it might be hard to see there. Um, those are just fingers interweaved there. So you've got two conductive traces on there that aren't touching. Um, so you've got this board here. I just made this, the house here, and then uh, put the, the rubber on there. And then you just lay this over the top of it and um, like I said if you if I take a piece of uh, circuit board here unetched and lay this over it um, and use that on the front it definitely becomes really really sensitive and then the other thing that that I did test was uh, just using this as the back Zoflex on top and then another circuit board laying on top of that with the copper and then just attaching your leads to each one of the circuit boards um, with the Zoflex in between it's even more sensitive so um, uh, if you just lay it on here and you press with your finger you have to press pretty dang hard to get it to pick up um, it, you know it's easier if you use say like an LED or something like that as your switch and then it, it becomes fairly sensitive but uh, just wanted to show you that um, really was just making these to put on a, on a mech uh, for testing be until I can get a hold of the actual hit panels that they're using. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.